<laughs> hey, look at the socks though. Alright guys, so I haven't recorded in about three weeks now. Uh, this is my first day actually uh, coming back to actually do legs. I haven't done legs since my injury. And like two weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, I actually got some bad news. So as I told y'all before, I think I might have torn my ACL. So I actually went to the doctors, got an MRI done, and I got my results. And it turns out that I did tear my ACL again and the meniscus. So it's, uh, I'm gonna have to get surgery again to repair it. So I, that's why I haven't worked out legs. But today, today is the first day we're gonna train legs. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So we're finally in here. The uh, first thing that we're doing is uh, we're actually warming up on the bike to kind of get our legs firing. So we're just gonna do the bike for like five or ten minutes. Just kind of get the leg pumped and get our heart rate up. And after that, we'll go to the machines to see you know how it goes. Uh, my plan for today is not to go too heavy, just to get a good amount of reps. Um, the one thing that I am gonna try today is doing deadlifts. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Just finished my second warm-up set. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm, I'm kind of struggling with it. It's a little, it's not heavy, heavy. I just, I'm feeling this small pain getting on top of my knee, so it's a little awkward doing it. But uh, I managed to do 20 reps at the, in the first set. I just did 15 on this one, so it's not bad, but it just doesn't feel comfortable, comfortable. So uh, we're just going to try to keep it going, see what we do today. Alright guys, so our second exercise is going to be this line down. Uh, Hamstring curl, uh, same thing going for like in the range of 10 to 15 reps, not going too heavy, just focusing more on the contraction and uh, we'll see how it feels. Uh, I just finished doing the uh, leg extensions and uh, I felt pretty good, at first I felt a little bit uncomfortable, but I managed to uh, you know still get a lot of reps in, so it was pretty good to see how this one feels. is my first one i feel good i do feel my right hamstring pulling a little bit again that's to the fact that i haven't worked on legs for about two and a half months now uh, but it still feels good i managed to do 20 i think 15 reps sorry 
Uh, we're doing about three to four sets of each workout. Uh, again, just doing a lot of reps today. Uh, getting a good pump in the legs. Uh, just so you don't get back in the rhythm of actually doing legs again. So it's going pretty good. Very good. So putting on this knee brace, we're going to try to do some squats. This is a knee brace that I actually got um, like two and a half years ago after I actually got my uh, my surgery done. So I'm just going to put it on just to, to kind of prevent anything from happening to the leg. Just to kind of feel more secure while, you know, trying to do these squats today. Right, we're ready to go. Let's see what happens. struggling a lot I feel weak my leg feels a little it's not too secure a little wobbly even with the knee brace and as y'all can see came off so it felt a little weird try it if i i'll try to just keep it with the bar maybe a 10 or 5 afterwards i wouldn't recommend this though for anyone that has an injury of this magnitude to like even be working out i'm just stubborn and you know just trying to get like, actually a good workout I'm tired of like working upper body so this is why we're working out today like but i don't recommend anyone doing it so it's probably like the only few times that i'll probably actually do it so this is her second i guess first war uh, actual working set she did her warm-up set with the bar uh, so yeah. third set i did two with the bar and uh for this one i actually added uh I guess 20 pounds in total 10 and 10 and uh again only doing like 10 reps because again i'm struggling actually a lot so i'm gonna try it with this and see how it feels I'm gonna take this. 
Yeah, just like that. You only have to do no more. Appreciate it. Yeah, buddy. count but I think that was like 10 or 12 reps so feel good didn't feel too bad uh, I can't go as low so they'll probably they probably won't see me going under parallel but again I'm just trying to get the motion down again so yeah So this is gonna be her last set. Uh, she previously did uh, 95 pounds before this. So she's, this is like, guess her, I think her fifth, her fifth set. So uh, she's about to do 115. So let's see how much she, she can do with that. that's already again it doesn't feel terrible I'm not feeling any pain but I do feel weak I do feel a little bit unstable on the right side and I keep leaning to the left to overcompensate so that could potentially you know uh, give me another injury or you know uh, tweak my right knee again so uh, again I wouldn't recommend doing this if you really are injured and you already got it diagnosed just like I did again I tore the ACL and the meniscus, so it's something pretty serious. Uh, the only way out from this is actually having surgery again. Again, this would be the second time that I have surgery on the same knee for the same stuff. So, yeah, not too bad. So, we just finished squats. We went into some deadlifts. Uh, not going too heavy. We just have 95 pounds on the bar. She's doing more of a traditional deadlift and uh, I'm doing more of a like a stiff stiff leg deadlift She's going for about 10 reps uh, Doesn't feel too bad But again My right side just feels weak So it's pretty much the issue with all the workouts Finishing off with this hip adductor machine. Uh, did we started with uh, the bike? We did leg extensions. We did hamstring curls. We did uh, we did squats. And then we did a little bit of deadlifts. And now we're finishing off with this machine. So that's pretty much the workout. We did about three to four sets. Well, actually, four to five sets of each workout for about ten to twelve reps. So overall, it was a decent workout. Again, this is my first time coming back doing legs in like two and a half months, three months. So it feels good doing legs again, but again, probably won't be doing this too much or too often because again, I'm still injured. I don't want to mess up my knee even more. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But to recap in regards to the injury, again, I 
tore my ACL and meniscus. I previously had surgery on the knee for the same reasons, playing soccer. Uh, you know, playing soccer, I just tore it and had surgery. This was about two and a half years ago. And again, two months ago, it happened again. Got the MRI done, got my doctor visits. And uh, last, like a week and a half or two ago, I got my results in. And again, it turns out that the only way to fix it again is to uh, have surgery. Because I tore, again, the ACL and, and the meniscus. So uh, the plan for this year is hopefully get the surgery done and start uh, the progress again and see where we end up in. That's pretty much it for today, guys. So we just left the gym. This is the last workout. <laughs> Trying to get up to the, to the roof, to the parking lot, to the car so we can go home and cook some food. So this is my first leg workout in like almost three months again. Again, don't recommend anyone has an injury this serious to be working out. A lot of people are gonna say that I'm stupid or something for uh, working out with this injury. But again, I'm a little stubborn. Felt good changing it up a bit. Again, like I said, I've only been working upper body because of the injury itself. Uh, probably would only work out legs once every two or three weeks from now on just to keep them a little bit up and for the muscle not to go down too much yeah that's the plan <laughs>